Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today I wanted to take a look at a daily planner app called Routine, which is uh, still in an early access beta and has a lot of features coming up. But today I thought we would take a look at this app. So Routine is looks like a lot of other different uh, daily planner apps and you have a page like this one which is your today page where you can see your schedule as well as your tasks for the day. You have a calendar where you can just drag and drop different tasks uh, and you can check them off when they are done. So let's say I'm done with this one, I can easily just check it off you can add new tasks inside of here and you also have an inbox where you can add tasks then you can schedule them inside of your calendar it also has a calendar integration with google calendar and outlook calendar is coming soon you have upcoming where you can see the things that are upcoming and the tasks that are upcoming it also supports uh, recurring tasks which is really great you also have a journal where you can look at all the things that you have done and the last thing is that it has pages which is basically notes and you can easily use them to write different things down and have control on your different projects so it has basic markdown support so you can make a to-do list and if I call this YouTube video test and we can test this one take out trash and here I have two different tasks then I can go back into my inbox and I can change the filter to also have pages inside of it and there I can see my two tasks then I can schedule those tasks for example to tomorrow and I can go into my calendar and it will be scheduled inside of here and I can put it into my calendar and that is something I really like a lot so it is a nice looking app and I love the fact that it is fast as well. The mobile app is also really fast and they have an Android app as well as an iOS app, a Windows app and Mac. And they also have a web version. So let's just take a look at this once again because I tend to remove pages because I have a lot of social media ideas inside of here so if you go to personal social media and social media ideas I have uh, my social media ideas inside of here and I don't want them to clutter up my inbox so I mainly write my tasks into my inbox then I schedule them later that's how I would like to use the app but I love the fact that is it has notes as well as of right now, you cannot actually search your notes. It isn't supported yet, but it is coming. So let's take a look at pricing routine comes in around $15 a month when they will release their professional plan and with the professional plan you get unlimited calendars as well as unlimited integrations and a lot of the integrations hasn't come out yet so we will take a look at that later but you also get some advanced functionalities like versioning forever offline mode availability sharing time zones smudge scheduling ai assistant custom layouts and filtered views so i would definitely pay for this if uh, or when they are going to release it uh, and if i continue to use it i would definitely pay for this because i like having an ai assistant filter views and availability sharing is also really important because I have a lot of different meetings so when you have a lot of different meetings uh, availability sharing can save you a lot of time and a lot of moving back and forward 
So it has right now Google Calendar, Notion, Gmail, Siri. Uh, that's the integration it has right now with Slack, Trello, ClickUp and Asana coming. So you can use this to consolidate all of your tasks and schedule them inside of the routine app. And it works really like a lot of the other daily planner apps. If we take a look at Sunsama, the only uh, thing is that Sunsama is costs a little a little bit more, but it has a lot more integrations right now, and it is a more mature app than Routine is. But I just love the way that Routine looks, and I love the fact that it has the ability to take notes so it is simple and works a lot like something like apple notes where you can just drag out your phone and write things down and you can easily just organize them like you would do inside of something like uh, like one note where you use a page as your notebook then you can have sub notebooks inside of there or sub pages inside of a notebook so that's how i am using it if we take a look at this i have people in my life i have journaling i have my reading list and um, my resources as well as apps i am planning to review or take a look at so overall i think this app looks really good and um, I am excited to keep trying it out and seeing if there is anything special or anything that I haven't covered yet, which I will learn. And I'm really excited to see all of the futures that are coming out the next couple of months. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can.